was such a crappy night's sleep last night. <sighs> so I curled up into bed last night and I the, the smell of gasoline over here was it was crazy insane, so so strong. And about a week ago, I could smell gas. And so I, I looked around, looked everywhere, tried to see if I could pinpoint where the gas smell was coming from. And I couldn't. I thought, well, maybe that little bit of gas smell was in the air coming in from one of the boat marinas or a boat or something like that or a house, whatever. And then it went away for a little bit, or at least I thought it was. But when you're in a windy area, it just blows the smell away from the vehicle. And yesterday, I think it got worse so i crawled into bed last night we're at a really cute little spot and it smelled like someone just poured gasoline all over my van that's how strong it was so i took the flashlight i went outside and i took a look and i found the leak um, i didn't see it before maybe because i was looking at it during the day but at night it was the whole different look underneath there at night and I found where the leak was, so I went to the car wash last night. I pressure washed everything underneath just to get rid of any excess fuel that was on it. That car wash is right across the street from the Walmart that I'm at right now, so I didn't drive very far. I got rid of the smell. But now we just need to find somebody to get to fix this leak. The problem is it's a weekend. And every mechanic shop I was looking at online last night says closed, 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 closed. So I'm going to keep calling around today um, and see if I can find someone to repair that fuel line because the last thing I want is to lose my home. Um, <laughs> this is a funny story. Let's go outside. So as soon as I smelled the fuel leak the first time, I went and bought myself another fire extinguisher. Now I got two of them. That one's been in my van for a while. I checked the expiry date. It is still good. And uh, I bought myself a second one just in case, just in case. But the fuel smell is coming from this side and it's right up in this area here. So when I first seen it, it just looked a little wet along this edge and I automatically thought that maybe my fuel tank, because it looks like it's a little bit rusty around the edges here, um, that maybe my fuel tank itself had sprung a leak right on the welded lip there. But then after I pressure washed it last night, this line, here is wet all up along this section in here and I'm not sure if that's a fuel line I'm guessing that is I don't know anything about this stuff so yeah that line goes there and it looks like this line goes above the tank as well and then all the way down the gutter here and I don't think you can get into anything in here until you drop the fuel tank itself but all up inside of here, it's wet. Like, really wet. Like, you can even see it on the bottom of the fuel tank. So, it is leaking from, I'm thinking it's one of these hoses here. And I didn't notice this until I put the flashlight underneath the van last night in the dark because everything in, uh, down here looks different at night. Like, you can see the the, the shininess of the, of the gasoline where sometimes during the day it just looks like it's evaporated. Yeah, it's coming from right up in there and it smells really bad. So I went online and found a YouTube video. So they've dropped the tank and right there where he's playing around with that little little junction point, that's right about the area where mine looks like it's leaking. So I don't know if it's the same problem this guy had here where that just that little junction point split and now it's leaking fuel all the way down there. So he's dropped the tank on this one and uh, I'm definitely not going to be doing that in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I don't know anything about fuel lines and fuel systems in a vehicle. I've personally never worked on anything like that. And I don't know if those fuel lines running through there are all just rubber hoses that I can just unclip from one end and unclip from the other and replace the rubber hose because I'm pretty sure in town here I could find a place to get gas hoses. But the means of dropping a tank in a parking lot somewhere in a city is just not something that I feel good about or something that I... It's gasoline, you know, and if there's a fire that gets sparked here, we're talking about my home and I don't want to lose my home. So that's why I bought the second fire extinguisher. I've been staying close here to the car wash because if I've had to move my vehicle, like from last night to this morning, um, I went to the car wash and just pressure washed everything underneath to make sure that there's no fuel on the outside of the vehicle. 
but today I'm uh, I'm a little worried. You know, I've never having brake problems or any mechanical problems like that are no big deal because they're not like catastrophic. That's a fuel leak inside of underneath my home. The last thing I want is for someone to flicker a cigarette butt while they're driving and boom, I lose my entire home or something stupid happens in a parking lot at a Walmart or wherever I'm sleeping and uh, someone flicks a cigarette or something silly and I lose my home. So a um, little bit worried. I had an absolute wreck of a night's sleep last night and uh, I tried to sleep in Emmy's van, but I, I really enjoy the fan blowing at me. So we ended up throwing back up into my van Emmy's been an absolute rock star. I told her to just move on down the road today, that I'm stranded, I can't do anything, so there's no reason for her to be sitting there hanging out with me, being stranded too. So yeah, I'm in Charlottetown. And my my only plan today is to continue phoning body um, mechanic shops and see if I can find somebody that can at least take a look at it and see if maybe it might be a, might be a two second fix. You know, maybe. Maybe it's something that I don't see that could just be an easy chop chop boom bada bang and out the door um but i'm trying to find someone to get to get my van in and have a look at it so thought i'd reach out to you guys maybe one of you guys out here are very mechanically inclined and know a little bit about fuel systems and gasoline that stuff's scary because it lights on fire you know <laughs> fast everything i search here closed 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 I called this guy. No answer. Close, close, close. Good morning, Ralph Horn. Hi, is your guys' service department open today? No, they're closed on weekends. They won't be open until Monday morning. Uh, is it? Do you guys still open Monday even though it's a holiday? It's a holiday, I it's think. Not right? a it's not a holiday on PEI. Okay, perfect. Great. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I've been calling everything, including the two Ford dealerships out here, and nobody is open today. They're all open on Monday. Living life on the road is pretty amazing, but when your home has a problem, life on the road can be a little bit on the stressful side, especially when it's something like this, you guys. Like this is, I've never felt stressed before when it comes to a repair, but this one is really honestly freaking me out. Um, one, I don't like the fumes inside of my vehicle. And last night was okay. I pressure wash it before bed and that just really seemed to work. So maybe I'll just make sure I do that today. There's a Walmart right across the street from the car wash here. So we'll just stay there again tonight and the next night until we can get it into somebody to get this thing fixed. But um, if you guys have any suggestions at all, um, uh, please, um, I'm leaning on you guys for this one. I don't, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know anything mechanical like that. I, I can do basic stuff, but that's something that's out of my realm and freaks me out so if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever besides me dropping the gas tank in a walmart <laughs> parking lot um i'll be open to whatever you guys have to say sir. oh man i don't know what to do we had this big day planned today on where we were, we were gonna go and I'm gonna go do go-karts and there's a little roller coaster and stuff and now i'm sitting in a parking lot oh van life Life on the road has days where they're just not so great, my friends. So I don't know what my plan is today. Keep phoning around and being disappointed by every call I make. That's frustrating too. Like, you know, when you're phoning around, you're like, oh, maybe this is the one. And you call, they're like, nope, sorry. Call one's like, no, your van's nine feet, sorry. Or you, like when you find one that's open, it's like, oh, your van's nine feet tall. Oh, my bay doesn't fit that. Oh, your van weighs how much? Sorry, my lift can't lift that. So having a bigger van definitely holds back a lot of limitations on that front as well. Because not everybody has a bay door that it's above nine feet or they do have a bay door above them nine feet, but they don't have the roof height inside of the shop to lift my van up. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I want a minivan. <laughs> no, I was joking. I don't want a minivan. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? All right. Glasses back on, back on the phone calls. Hi, you've reached us at DJP Automotive. 
We are unable to take your call right now, but if you leave us your name. Another one. Welcome to PEI Chrome. Thanks, man. Oh, do you? I, I really wish right now that said mechanic service. <laughs> Oh, you're trying to find somebody open I've been side. phoning and phoning and phoning. I have a gas leak. Oh, shit. Dude, those rims are wicked. With, with your uh, red dirt stuck on it. I like that. Maybe good old Canadian tires got, uh, got the ability. Thank you for calling Canadian Tire in Charlottetown. If you know the extension <laughs> you'd like to reach, please press in it at any time. Charlottetown? Call Automotive Inquiries. Good morning, auto service. Christine speaking. Hi, good morning. I um, I have a fuel line leak in my vehicle. Is that something you guys repair? Not today. Uh, do you know when the next available opening is? Uh, long way away. Wednesday, August 10th. Ooh. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. No problem. Bye-bye. August 10th. Are you serious? Today's date is what? July 30th. Yep, not <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh, sorry if the camera's wet. Okay, please not get stuck in traffic. Drive this the least amount as I can. This dashboard, man. It is. This van is having a seriously bad time lately. Okay, go, go. Go, my friend. Go, my friend. Go, my friend. So fixing the beeping dash cluster would mean my van would be out of commission for maybe three days to a week because I'd have to pull the dash cluster out, ship it to Toronto to get fixed. So it'll be one day to get there, one to three days to fix, plus one day to return the shipment. This is insane. One day to return the shipment back to me. So that means I can't drive my van for five days. So maybe right now because of this problem may be the time that I pull my dash cluster and just take care of all these problems all in one shot. But first thing I need to do is I need to find out where the person's gonna be that's gonna fix my fuel leak. Uh. Thanks, man. Why did we take a peek? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See you guys. I know, I know you didn't make it, but you could say you did. There's a sticker in a bit. Uh, oh, that's player. awesome. I just turned my camera on to kind of say you guys came by to help. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you going to do, are you going to be at the one in New Brunswick? Yep. Okay, well, do you know what the date of that one is? It starts Friday uh, coming. There's a, they have a van club and one of my subscribers, I think is a part of it in New Brunswick. And he was just like, Hey Chrome, you have to come. I just might. It's awesome, man. Well, I'm, I might see you there. Cause we'll, we're heading that way. So. All right. Take care. Awesome, man. man. Thank you. <laughs> so cool. Just pulled into the parking lot here at Walmart just to kind of not drive my van today. And these guys pulled in and they're a part of a van club out here. And uh, he ended up giving me a number to a mechanic that's a mom and pop guy. So I'm going to see if maybe they may be available uh, to, to, to help me out. If not, they gave me another shop to phone today. So oh, I love the East Coast love out here. Oh, this peach was a definitely a shining part of my day. Mm -hmm. Stuck in a parking lot, bro. Yeah, stuck in a parking lot. 
sitting in the parking lot here. I've had the chance to meet some really great people that came by just because my van caught their attention and some subscribers came through and every time they come in and I'm like, hey, are you a mechanic? <laughs> I had this sweet lady come in and snap a picture with me. My first thing out of my mouth is, hey, are you, are you a mechanic? Oh, who's this going on here? Hopefully somebody's got some good news. Oh, that was Mark. So um, uh, one of my subscribers came by. He works at a car dealership in town that happens to be closed today and tomorrow. Where was I going? Um, so yeah, Mark, this gentleman here has been calling all the shop buddies that he knows to see if they can get me in and so far, uh, a lot of them have been short staffed and they won't be able to get me in until later on next week and stuff. So I'm hoping to find somebody local that uh, can just at least take a look at it tomorrow, the next day, you know, so I'm not sitting here worried about burning my home down, playing around with fire and a home and flammable things. It's not, it's not, doesn't make me feel good. And uh, I'm pretty sure I could probably drive around. I think this leak's been happening for a long time and I just noticed it now because it's getting worse. So it could be my very first thought. It could be just the tank itself is rusty and that lip around the middle of the tank is rusty. But uh, like Ed said, if it was the tank, it'd be dripping all the time instead of dripping only when it's running. So I don't know you guys. Anyway, if you guys have any tips, tricks, or advice, guys, please let me know. But just so you know, traveling is not always easy sometimes. Sometimes when things break down, you are kind of stranded and stuck in one little place until you can figure out what you're going to do with repairs. So here we are at Walmart. <laughs> Again, my van has been... I don't know if it's trying to tell me something or what. It's... Got a beeping dashboard that won't shut up. It's now got a gas leak. Needs front brakes, which is not a big deal. <sighs> anyway, guys, that's my day to day. <laughs> I thought I would share with you guys just, just, well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to a little piece of my van life. Uh, thankfully, I'm at home though. Thankfully, I got Starlink up on the roof. We've got sunshine outside, so we got solar coming in. Um, I got cupboards full of food. I got a bed. I got fans and stuff to keep me cool. If it happens to get warm, I got water, beer, and food. And I'm surrounded by all the conveniences that I could ever ask for. And one of my subscribers told me right up this little hill here is a new restaurant called The Local, and they got craft beer. So, yeah. Hey, can't complain. Anyway, everybody, bye for now. Hopefully I got better news for you on the next one. Fingers crossed.